we are joined by Mr. Rajesh Mehta, the chairman at Rajesh Exports. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Mehta. Uh, how would you describe uh, the fourth quarter? We've seen a strong jump in your profits. So uh, the backward integration is really working out for you. Can you tell us what your margins were like? Yes. Um, in fact, uh, we declared our annual results um, on Friday. And as you can see, it has been a record-breaking year for us, both uh, from the point of view of revenue and uh, from the point of view of profits. We have posted uh, for the year, we have posted record profits, uh, which are more than 1,260 crores uh, uh, for the year. And uh, the primary reason for uh, posting uh, better profits this year has been the increase in the retail participation of the business. As we have been telling earlier, we are looking at uh, increasing the higher profitability business. We have good impressive revenues, and now we are going towards forward integration and ensuring that uh, our profitability in the business increases. That is what we are looking for, and that is the uh, primary reason why you are seeing our uh, profitability at a higher uh, uh, rate. Right. Um, can you now tell us uh, of the total revenue mix, how much are you getting from your retail operations? Uh, of the uh, total uh, revenue mix, as of now, the retail, when you look at the entire revenue, overall revenue, the retail currently in a percentage-wise, is lower. That is, uh, we have, uh, we are clocking uh, the total retail revenues of around 2% or 2.5% of our total business, if you look at the entire consolidated business. Because our consolidated revenues have been around 2,40,000 uh, uh, crores. So if you look at the consolidated level, then the retail uh, percentage-wise is lower. But in absolute terms, uh, we are doing well in retail, and uh, I think in retail, we have grown by around uh, more than 35 to 40 percent compared to the previous year. All right. Uh, can you tell us what is the difference in margins? Uh, you are largely an export player, and your margins there are wafer thin. How does um, uh, the margin in the retail operations uh, compare with the export operations? We have uh, primarily three types of businesses. One business, I'm looking, I'm talking about our consolidated uh, uh, results. We have three businesses. One is the refining business, wherein we refine gold and supply the gold bullion to various banks and various central banks and large-scale uh, bullion dealers. So one is the refining business, then another one is the manufacturing of jewelry and other products and export of them. That is, we manufacture jewelry and other products and we export these products and we wholesale these products also. And the third business is the retail business. So if you look at the margins of these three businesses, in refining, the margins are lower, which are less than a percent. That is, they come to around 0.4 to 0.45%. In wholesale and in exports, the margins would be between uh, around 3 to 4 percent, that is between uh, 3 to 4 percent on the gross level. And in retail, we look at a margin, we look at margins of between 12 to 14 percent on gross levels. Right. Uh, so if you could just tell us about uh, GST and the impact of that, we are now seeing PC jewelers being up 20, Titan is up 4%, other companies are doing well. Can you just tell us what sort of GST clarity is needed uh, for gold retailers? Uh, GST would definitely be good for uh, gold business as such because gold business is a countrywide uh, business. And if the state uh, regimes go away, then uh, any jeweler or especially any wholesaler or bullion dealer would be able to conduct their business across the country without any hindrance and without any state levies being there from state to state. So the GST would definitely be good for gold business, but the GST rates for gold business have not yet been declared. 
uh, we hope that uh, we come at a lower slab. So that would uh, help the gold business. So once the GST comes, the central excise, which is there on gold business now, naturally goes. So if we get at a lower, if we get a lower slab of uh, GST on gold business, then I think it would be very good for the gold business on the long run and even uh, the current uh, stage. Right. So the concerns around gold business, what will be the rate over there, are so high that uh, most probably things should be on the positive side? Uh, if the rates are too high, then there could be uh, some problems. But uh, I think the rates will not be too high. Uh, the slabs will be lower. And uh, if the slabs are lower, I think it will be very, very positive for the gold business. What sort of slab, if you can just tell us, what sort of slab are you expecting? We uh, expect for the gold business overall, uh, maybe between uh, uh, GST slab or between say 1 to 4 percent. That will be a special slab and a lower slab because it's gold bullion and gold business. So currently the state levies are 1 percent in most of the states and there is 1 percent excise, so 2 percent. So maybe we expect a slab between 1 to 4 percent. Right. So but any number below 4 percent would not have a very material impact on the business? No, any number below 4 percent would be very good for the business, I think. Uh, but above 4% or if it goes much higher than that, then it may have some impact on the business. Right, but uh, say if the rate is above 4% or it's close to 45 5 maybe slightly on the higher side, you think there'll be some time that will be taken before which, uh, you know, the entire impact comes through? No, even what, uh, what I was trying to say is even if the slab is higher, then I think the government will compensate it by reduction in customs duty. So if there is a reduction in customs duty, as the government has promised, that over a period of time the customs duty will be uh, made to 2%. And then if there is a GST of even 4% or 6%, I think that would be very positive for the business. Right. Could you also just tell us, sir, that irrespective of the rate, one thing is for sure that uh, a lot of unorganized market in the business would start to find it difficult to compete with the organized players like you? Yes, yes. GST would definitely be uh, a boon and would be a big positive for organized players. Because as you rightly said, it will be difficult uh, for the unorganized players. And it will become much easier for the organized players. Because suppose if I want to supply gold bullion from Bangalore to Mumbai or from Bangalore to Delhi, uh, it will be very easy for me because it will become a single market. So we won't have to face, uh, we won't have to have branches in various uh, states or we won't have to face any other thing like that. Also, after demonetization, already a lot of business would have shifted to organized, but uh, the pace after GST can be faster? Yes, definitely. After GST, the pace of shift to organized sector would be much faster.